We completely swept through. Was that the rest of their army? That was half a million. Hello everyone, Stucker you here and welcome back to a Hearts of Iron 4 video. Guys, my friends, I am low on time. I am desperate to try and make a video here before I have to head to the airport. So I'm gonna rush this as soon as possible. And speaking of going fast, do y'all remember that video that I did in Sweden? Well, over the course of that video, I posited the idea of what would happen if I could actually take over the other Nordic countries and give myself an industry to be able to actually go and attack things. And holy crap, for my testing, I found that the thing is so incredibly broken. I'm gonna go ahead and say this right now in the beginning. This video is inspired by Torior. Torior, thank you so much for showing a specific strategy that you utilized in order to be able to attack Norway and Denmark at the same time. He is another fantastic content creator, so if you have not seen any of his videos, then by all means, go check him out. Thank you very much, man. And if you watch this right now, I'm glad that you enjoy that little editing technique that I showed you. Anyway, are you all ready to see the fastest tanks in the game with possibly one of the most broken industries ever created? Let's do it, baby. And obviously us going into this in order to show just how real and powerful this is, Iron Man mode is on. So whatever happens, happens, but I'm gonna show just how incredibly broken this whole thing can be. Also, just a little reminder that I'm gonna make sure to insert here, make sure to join Discord. If you wanna play Hearts of Iron 4 with me, then we do so every single Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern on Twitch. And we also have random games and other stuff for other events during the middle of the week. We have game nights, we have memes, we got everything in here. So join and have some fun. Link down in the description. Sweden definitely got some of the most love of any of the nations going into this DLC with Finland possibly only having better things in terms of attack. But Swedish industry and shenanigans are wild. Got to get the class things going out of the way and immediately, of course, get our infrastructure set along with civvies. Remember, we have the hunger scold effect. So if we drop below a certain amount of uh, factories or and stability, then that means that we are going to uh, end up having hunger strikes and everyone in our country is possibly going to die. It's okay. We'll just use the Norwegians as sacrifices. Focus tree wise, we have to begin with defense act. Let's go ahead and get that going. We're going to take our entire army and instead of deleting it, we are simply going to convert these over to cavalry. I prefer using the basic cavalry in the sense because this is going to allow me to actually move forces rather rapidly and I can go ahead and get things started. Now, while the game goes and plays, I'm going to say this right now, but Sweden's greatest weakness is definitely its population. That was the problem that I ran into when I played Democratic Sweden is that it just doesn't really have much that makes it viable. It can get over time some population that it recruits through just manpower bonuses, but it doesn't really get all that much. Really, that's the greatest problem of any Scandinavian nation. Let's see, government commission recommends rearmament yeah we're gonna go with the farmers party because we don't want to take any stability hits from the beginning and then urbanization get ourselves some civvies going but while this is playing in order to get the bonuses that i want with the specific recon bonuses that i need i need to be able to get down here and get semi reconciliation the problem is is that normally when you try to take things over you'd go for fascism or monarchy but the old enemy stirs and the path that you can take to go and get fascism or going down the monarchist path really doesn't have any other speed bonuses. On the other hand, democratic and communism, oh, oh, those have even more bonuses and get you population. Meaning the only viable thing that we can do to actually attack anything is go down the communist side. And I'm gonna show how it is that we can break that, get an incredibly powerful industry and simultaneously have some of the fastest units that I have ever seen in this game ever. In fact, from this, I'm going to say this, these will probably produce the fastest tanks ever created. I'm also talking really fast right now because uh, I leave for the airport in quite literally two hours. So I have to get this done fast. All right, there's urbanization. Next up on here, Radio Johnst. I know that Torior didn't do this one because he doesn't like to spend the political power in the beginning, but I prefer doing Radio Johnst from the beginning because it allows me to switch to communism faster as well as give me research bonuses. And I'm saving up the political power that I can use it anyway. So I find this whole thing to be faster and better. Swedish general election. We are going with the moderates because the moderates under this guy is going to allow us to get a research bonus. So we're definitely going to keep him in power here for a bit. And we're going to get concentrated industry because we're not really going to be producing much but the same things over the course of the game. So all that really doesn't matter. Now, normally in my protocol, when I'm playing the democratic path, what I would do is at this point, I would wait for 150 political power and then I would get financial expert. But I don't want that because communism has very specific bonuses if you have higher amounts of consumer goods. And we're going to want to use those. All right, Radio Johnst is done. We have the political power saved. Align Radio Johnst with Socialistka Partiet. So this is going to decrease the stability bonus that it gets us, but it's going to increase war support, decrease justify war goal time, and it's going to reduce our ability to fight against communism. Never thought I would say that's a good thing. But you know what? We need it. After that, immediate next step, hygienic housing. And then we're going to get poverty reduction. Along with, since I have the political power to use right now from the very beginning, I'm going to go ahead and improve worker conditions just because that is going to bump me up here stability wise so I can really just have as high of stability as possible. Also at the same time let's see let's go ahead and get 12 cavalry divisions trained up just so I can get a full stack of 24 meant up here. I have no war support. 
But by God, do my people love to feed horses. All right, hygienic housing is done. Next step on here, poverty reduction. That's going to boost communism, give us a civilian factory, as well as a little bit more stability. And that's exactly what we want right now. Satan time, Hunter political power, army organization expert. We're gonna need to start generating army XP as soon as we possibly can. So that's gonna be helpful for us. In the meantime, just train by forces. Actually, I should probably have done that earlier just so I can get some ticking army experience going. It's all good because with poverty reduction done, that means I can go down here to continue the second industrial revolution. Two research bonuses are gonna be massive and Swedish industry is gonna be the most powerful thing on earth. With second industrial revolution researching, I gotta make sure that I'm already researching concentrated industry two and two here for construction because I don't want that bonus to apply to that. Yes, I could get it significantly faster, but I want that bonus to be able to get the next level three, significantly faster after that. Because with the second industrial revolution, that means the next step up after that, align more closely with the Lance organization. And from there, uh, uh, well, I guess, I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, just start researching stuff for some military. It's okay. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter right now. As we get more and more research bonuses, we're going to be researching things stupidly fast. I mean, already as it stands, we have a 25% bonus and that's only going to get faster. And with Lance organization done, that means we can move down here to this side, strike the capitalist beast down. Yes, this is going to be a little bit of an interesting one. The working class of Sweden have suffered under the yoke of the bourgeoisie for far too long. While the social democrats believe they can soften the harshness of capitalism, only the socialists offer the elaborate, or no, offer the electorate the truth. Capitalism cannot be fixed. Capitalism must be abolished. Let's do that, buddy. That is going to flip us over to communism, which is going to be awesome. That is going to allow us to do so much more, and we are saving up as much political power as we possibly can at this time. Once we've spent these little things here, we're not even getting an advisor. Like, we're not doing any of that. We are just saving what we can here, political power-wise, so that we can spend that on um, being able to justify. And I want to show what it is that I mean that Torior was able to show us here. Murmurs of a fascist counter-revolution. We have other plans. We do not want to have to deal with that. Awesome. We are are now communists, which means that unlike democratic states, we are actually able to justify on things. We have 170 political power that is saved up right now. I don't know if that's actually enough. I can't remember what the exact amount that I needed is. I'm probably gonna wait like 10 days to get 180 before I can do a little bit more. So in the meantime, let's go ahead and prevent a counter revolution. Are you not? No, no, we'll wait, we'll wait. I won't even click anything. This will allow me to get to the 180 significantly faster. Okay, fantastic. And now with that up, here is the strategy. As I'm sure that all of you are probably aware, one of the key strategies when you were trying to justify on things and you don't want nations to be guaranteed is to justify on as many random nations as you possibly can so that once those nations are guaranteed that the AI won't be able to guarantee the nations that you were actually wanting to go after. Which makes sense. No, in many cases that is a viable strategy. But... The alternative is that instead of taking down one nation followed by another, you attack both at the same time. But how do you do this? After all, if I go over here and I justify on Norway, that's gonna cost 155 days. I'll go ahead and do that. But then I go over here to justify on Iceland, which is a puppet of Denmark, and I don't want them to break free, which is why I'm going to justify on them to be able to attack. And that's gonna cost me 275 days. Well, crap, that, that sucks. But here's the thing. I may have spent all that political power, but if I go back here to Norway and cancel the justification on them and then re-justify spending even more political power, wait, that now also is gonna take 275 days. Meaning that I will be able to attack both at the same time and because we are below the world tension level and I haven't caused any, those nations are more than likely not going to get guaranteed. Like I have to say, in terms of a rushing strategy from the very beginning, if you're trying to do anything, this is actually still something that is viable and I am, I'm truly impressed. Thank you, Toriora, for showing me this because, oh my God, I was trying to figure out how to do this whole thing with Sweden and you've showed me the golden gates. So now for both Norway and Iceland, it's gonna take us 275 days. That means we can spend the rest of our time building up our economy and preparing for the fun. Prevent a counter revolution. We don't want fascism to increase in here. And in the meantime, just focus on building up everything with our industry. Yep, that we don't really need to do any of that. We're just going to go ahead and prevent a counter revolution. And then after that, in order to be able to research stuff faster, we're probably gonna make a beeline down here to be able to go and get the Institute of Technology. Yeah, we're gonna need to, we're gonna need to head down there. Let's see, it is still a little bit far away way to go and invest in concentrated industry three. I'd rather catch up on everything else that I possibly need. So we're going to start researching stuff that we need for air force. Just get all the basic stuff out of the way to catch up. And this, because we're going to be researching stuff so fast is going to be very helpful for us. Ah, and of course, because we are communists, I completely forgot officer core ideological loyalty. Even though we're going to get more population, it's still a good idea from the very beginning to have weekly manpower ticking because
because as the Scandinavian countries, you don't really have much. With the ringleaders exposed, we can either choose to prosecute the supposed fascists within our government, and by getting rid of them, it's going to suck, but it's also gonna boost stability, which is a very valuable thing to be able to do here in the beginning, and simultaneously get rid of a lot of fascism and non-aligned. Promoting them is going to overall weaken us, so prosecute them is the better option. With all that prevented, now we can make a beeline down here and get that research slot that we want. First, state paid vacation, and then after that, even though I could do accept the Salzborn agreement, I don't actually want the that right now because there's a whole thing later on that's going to hurt my stability and I would rather not get this. I'm going to reject the agreement so I can boost my war support and then simultaneously do the Institute of Technology after that. And of course, make sure always researching Volvo, always getting our good tech built up here. And with our next 150 political power, that means we can get a political advisor and we can go ahead and get, let's see, population factor, pretty nice, but we want Marxist philosopher because we want that political power as well as research speed. That's gonna be incredibly valuable for us. All right, we have about 70 something days. So let's see, these guys are pretty trained up, but we're going to train them up a little bit more, get that prepared. And then simultaneously, am I good on it? I'm not good on artillery, but it's, it's fine. It's fine. We don't actually need any of that. I have two sets of infantry that are almost good. So we're going to go ahead and deploy you out just because you're going to be the only things that actually have some moderate staying power among our entire force. All right. Institute of Technology is done. Excellent. Next step after that, liquidate the monarchy. This is something that is going to go ahead and give us some really good bonuses towards construction because we're going to literally steal all of the king's assets, you know, which was clearly stolen from the people down with the monarchy. And we're going to use that to fund our own building projects. Excellent. Also, at the same time, I realized from this, actually, I could probably go ahead and create an intelligence agency. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that really quick. We're going to need to start building that up fairly quickly over time here. And we're also at the level that I think we could go ahead and, yeah, 185 days. That's that's pretty decent here. I mean, all things considered. No, actually, we're, we're getting close here. We'll do these first. And then after we get the other stuff that 1938 done, then we will go ahead and get the next level of industry. All right, I have like 11 days. Okay, quickly, stop the training. Stop the training. Get yourselves prepared here. We're going to need to get ready to go over an attack. We have just enough army experience to get ourselves a doctrine. And what I'm going to do is classically, of course, mobile warfare. The reason being is that that's going to allow our troops to move significantly faster. And I care way more about speed than anything else right now which I did last time I did this too. But simultaneously, that means we can go and attack all the other stuff significantly faster. Intelligence agency created, go ahead and get, can I get the, uh, where is it? Localized training centers. We're gonna go ahead and get that from the beginning so we can start for recruiting. The fate of House Bernadotte. In this limited age, it seems odd to still cling to a monarchy. Yeah, of course. And now by confiscating their assets, that's going to drastically increase our construction for a good year, which is nice. As soon as that is done, we can go and establish the Politburo, which is going to increase our party stability modifier and communism support and oh god so it's so nice it's so nice it's so nice justification is done for both iceland and also for norway and here's what we're going to do we're going to declare on both at the same time and in doing so which i was able to do in 1938 they're not guaranteed by literally anyone they're not going to be able to join a faction they're going to think oh are we going to attack denmark are we going to do any of this no no we're not doing any of that i actually want denmark to attack me as much as they possibly can let them go into my nation and the reason i say that is because while i am just diving around here taking all of these little states Denmark, which has significantly fewer units, is going to expand into my much bigger country. And then from there, I will just be able to wrap around and destroy them. It's it's that easy. It's it's that stupid and easy. Denmark surrenders. Ah, no, barely more than a speed bump. Yes, it's going to cause a huge stability hit. Yes, I know. But it really doesn't matter here. We're going to be able to move in so fast and take these things out so much faster that who really cares? And see, look, they're already sending units forward. But we're going to be able to take out Norway so quickly that again... It does not matter. There's the capital of Oslo fallen. Trondheim is down. Anything else that we could potentially take? Narvik? No, no, all this is still good. The AI cannot even hold us right now. We are simply moving that fast. And because we have mobile warfare, our units are moving so much quicker than they normally should be able to. And just like that, Norway has fallen. We steal 40 trains from them, which is a really good amount overall. We take their entire Navy. We take all of this and boom, like that, we, we have Norway. It's that fast. Now, all we simply have to do is take two of these units or so. Um, 
Actually, no, I'm going to take slightly more. I'm going to take a third one. We'll take that third unit, slap that into just something that doesn't really matter, and we are going to have you naval invade from here over here. Wait, do I have that researched? Oh my God, did I forget to research that? No, 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 wait. Oh, I know. Okay. I forgot, I forgot for a second. We still have troop transport research, so it's still okay. All right, in the meantime, send the rest of the forces down here. That is perfectly all right. The more that we can let them spread out, the better. Killbaum moves to Aust Flieg. Uh, okay, this is a very interesting option here. The Technically speaking, the communists within Sweden really also hate the Soviets. So you can choose what you align with, which is really cool. You can go with a anti-Soviet socialist. You could go with one that aligns us more with the German which is who we currently have, or we could say that, hey, Stalinism isn't necessarily so bad and go back to him. And this guy really, uh, he, he he dislikes the USSR. He likes Germany. But, but you know, if we go with Kill Bomb, this guy is going to increase our war support, but also, also means that we can ally with the allies. So Kill Bomb, honestly, it's the same thing that Torior did, and it's really among all the options. Unless you're doing something specific, he is the overall better option, so I get it. And because of that, we can immediately secure non-aggression packs with, like, all the allies, which is pretty nice. Oh, 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 hey, hey, nope, we don't want that. We don't want that. Oh, see how these forces are over here spread out. We are already isolating a couple of them. Just move on in as quick as we possibly can. Yes, they're going to kill a number of us, I know. Oh, 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 see, see, already four divisions. Four potential divisions that are caught in here. All right, with those caught, with those caught, keep on moving in. Desperate times call for desperate measures, and we have surrounded and caught all these. There's localized training centers. Okay, now we can go ahead and recruit a unit. Uh, let's see, spy, great, great stuff. That's what I like. We're gonna go down here and we're gonna start building an intel network in Germany. Really, the plan is to go after both the Soviets and the Germans, but we're going to do all of this, all right? At the same time, uh, let's see, I need to go ahead. Can I, can I recruit? a guy here from Germany. Do I have that option? Should have completed the thing already to be able to do stuff. Okay, well, either way, we're gonna go ahead and get the special envoy because that's not only gonna increase our civility, but it's simultaneously going to really help us with spying. So we're gonna get that guy immediately. I, on the other hand, have to work fast because the longer that I take on this, public and rust, because I'm below a certain amount of stability, uh, it, it will hurt me. Meantime, here, move these guys away. Let them invade. Come on, come on. You all should totally move into my country. I would love it if you did that. Oh, what's this? Did you take my advice and move into my country? Oh, you really shouldn't have done that, actually. All right, all right, all right. Just move on back. Let him on in again. That is fantastic. And these guys, uh, how are these actually doing? They're like fully prepared, but I can't launch a naval invasion quite yet. Well, this also, I could just go ahead and do this. It's not like the Navy is going to be out to do anything. I could just go and capitulate Iceland right now. So we're going to go and work on that. Denmark is going to be too busy trying to defend its own borders and it's it's not going to be able to do anything. Yep, see, just like that, trapped again. We're going to take these remaining four and just sweep on through. It's so stupid. It's so stupid, but we're so smart. Oh, oh, are you are you stopping me over here? Oh, I don't want, I don't want to be stopped. Oh no, I better retreat back. Oh. Oh no, you moved in to attack me. You probably shouldn't have done that, buddy. Oh, actually, no, they definitely could have done that. They still had another unit. Damn it. Okay, quick, plan a naval invasion. We landed in Iceland, which means that they're about to fall. And uh, let's see, an operative can be recruited. Wait, 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 wait. Do I not have the ability to recruit someone from... Germany. Okay. Should be able to do that real quick, right? Well, either way, we got one for you. I think you're German, right? And 14 days, they drove me back. Yes. But now I can launch a strike across the ocean because I think these are like the last two units that they have left. Yeah, th th they shouldn't have any others. Politburo is established. That means the next thing after this that we can do, socialist reforms. Now, here's the cool thing. Yes, it's going to increase our consumer goods by a good 10%, but every single amount that we have of consumer goods is now going to provide bonuses. We get 25% of our bonus of consumer goods as a research bonus. And are you kidding me? Of course I want that. Yep. I'm taking Aris. I'm going to take Odense. I'm going to take all these little things. We're just going to work our way around here. Yep. They couldn't stop the naval invasion with that. Denmark has fallen, sees more trains, more artillery, more everything. And with them being done, oh, <laughs> they actually spawned an Icelandic unit. Oh, that that's adorable. That's adorable. They actually had a thing to try and defend themselves. Oh, wh how, how, how funny, how strange actually, because since I own all of this, now I can restore the Kalmar Union. And that means all of the Danish industry, all of everything now belongs to me. Excellent, 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 excellent. We got that. We can start building artillery. We can start building everything. Which actually, all things considered, is not really all that much. <laughs> it, is, it, was, it was mostly civilian factories here, to be fair. But it is a big boost to our industry overall. April 1938, that is done. 
And with just a little bit more time, Reykjavik falls, which means Iceland does as well. And what I'm going to go ahead and do at that time is I'm going to to puppet Iceland and I'm going to add war reparations onto them because I don't want to have to control any of this. And it's going to give me some factories, which is going to be okay. And we're going to let them build them. Like it's, it's overall the best thing right now. And then I can always build it up later and take them out as soon as I take like Finland. And then, you know, the plan is ultimately that I'm probably going to end up taking Finland. So um, I'm, I'm not even going to take all this. I'm not, I'm not going to do anything. And with that, Iceland also falls. We're going to take you, yoink, and we are done with that. Excellent. It only cost us a decent amount of lives, but now we actually have a very powerful industry. And from this, we are a decent middling size, and we can use this for the rest of the game to build ourselves up. And for that, more factories, more everything. Oh, wait, I also realized I'm at 37% war support in 1938. This is why the better option among this is to definitely do the uh, the the other one, the deny the agreements. Because as soon as we reject those agreements and it boosts our war support, that means that from here, we can easily go over here and partial mob Sweden 1938 with all of this juicy, juicy industry, meaning we can just rapidly build up our civilian factories now at this point. It is so strong. Oh no, that juicy, juicy manpower. Okay, with socialist protections done, that means that we are at what? 27% research speed now? It's pretty decent, but it's only gonna go up because we had to get rid of a lot of our research guys. And the reason why I want the Saltsborne Agreement is because that's going to allow me to get economic deregulation, which is going to remove the um the 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 whole thing with full commit, which means that I'll actually be able to do other stuff. But not yet, though. Not yet. We just need that as an option. We, in the meantime, will continue to boost our economy, state planning committee, and getting everything that we possibly can. And simultaneously, before I forget, we're going to start preparing some serious collaboration governments because we're going to need all of that. And with 150 more political power, that means I can go down here. Let's see. Cultural heritage, socialist writer. No. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Minister of Education. 6% more research. That means I got 5% here, 6% here, even bigger bonuses. So I'm at like what now? 38% bonus research in 1938. That's some good stuff. And, you know, no, we got we got we got to start working on our tanks. Also, government weapons contracts. We can start boosting up stuff for our military a little bit, but we don't want to select any of these things that is going to change our military construction speed just yet. Because right now, at least until going into 1939, the only thing that we're going to be building are civilian factories here, getting ourselves a nice and powerful industry going. There's the first collaboration government done. Excellent. Now we need to start building up the next one. Keep on getting that going. Every time we finish, we just got to start a whole new one. And while we wait, just biding our time, all we're going to be doing is researching. That's it. Really, nothing much is going to change. You're going to see me go over here and complete focus trees, just anything I can to get some military factories going. That's really it. There's not much else that's happening. And actually, now that I don't even really need much in terms of an industry, I could just probably sell a whole bunch of equipment here. Yeah, I could sell all this old stuff that I don't need, you know, all, all this crap from other countries that I've received and conquered. Actually, no, not my trains. I don't want my trains. Jack up the price on all this and I could probably just use it to, to boost my own industry. That should be fine. Let's see. Now, uh, Landsberg. Oh, wait, my... Oh, shit. I'm losing days. I'm losing days. I forgot to check. Okay, okay, okay. I'm still building up some civilian factories, but it, pretty soon we're going to start switching over to our other construction. So we're going to get People's Commissar for Defense. We're going to get that going. And then once we get this, late 1939, we're going to switch over to almost pure mill production. Here's the Molotov Ribbentrop Pact. All this is boosted up. Fantastic. Now, this is possibly one of the most powerful things I've ever seen in the game. Universal basic income. When we have this thing, this is so cool. Resistance target minus 15%, research speed plus 8%, stab plus 10%. Yes, it increases our consumer goods, but that only increases our research speed more. And newly conquered states start with 25% compliance and 0% resistance. Oh my god, that is incredible. All right, there's another collaboration government done. That means we can immediately send someone else over here and launch the final one. With that, we're going to have 100% collaboration government on the Germans, and that is perfect. Yeah, uh, yeah, World War II breaking out. Ah, uh, well, you know, it happens. It happens. We have a grand research speed, 1939, 48% bonus. Oh my lord. And now I think it's time that we start cranking out a bit of a military industry. Yeah, that's going to boost our war support drastically, which has allowed us to go on war economy, but more importantly, once all this is done, we can drastically start boosting up our military production. Oh, Finland rejects the Soviet demands, so that's happening over here on this side. That means that they're going to be getting attacked. And as they are getting attacked, they're already at war. There is literally no point in guaranteeing anyone. So what we are going to do is we are going to go and we're going to do a little bit of a justification. 
on Turku. It's going to take 120 days, but you know what? I'm feeling spicy. Uh, air raid. Okay, well, we're going to approach it carefully. Give us another civvy factory, Soviets. I would greatly appreciate that. Next up on here, form Saab, two more mill factories, and increase my production to be able to boost this as much as possible, because we're not we're not building any more civvies. I think that we've uh, I think that we've done some pretty good stuff. We're currently at 77. That is a very solid industry. Because what is Germany at right now on that? Honestly, we are, we're, we're fairly comparable. Germany has some pretty good stuff there. We have as many civvies as Britain. Finland seeks Swedish support. <laughs> ah, ah, no. No, we're, we're neutral, buddy. Sorry. Let's see. And since that is now done, we can go ahead and uh, start preparing for the Soviets now, can't we? And look at this. Look, 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 look at this beautiful, beautiful agility and speed. Oh my God. We're, go we're gonna have the greatest fighters possible, man. Wait, how close am I to actually fighting? Uh, very close, actually. And Finland, because they're being attacked here, they're not gonna be guaranteed by literally anyone. It's, it's genuinely hilarious that that happens. All right, almost there, almost there. Hey, hey, Finland. Sorry about this, buddy. Listen, listen, I know, I know that you're kind of busy. I know that you're kind of busy dealing with the Soviets here. I understand that, buddy. You can, I can be invited into the allies here if I wanted. Ah, ah, that is, that is funny. Yeah, you all are going to sign a white piece, right? Any day now? Yep, there they go. They sign a white piece. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Desperate, desperate, desperate. Okay, I'm taking way more losses here than I planned initially. Okay, but Finland, you are close to falling, right? Maybe? Oh God, I should have produced more units. Okay, okay, this is way more of a desperate fight than I actually wanted. Um, I should have waited. <laughs> Listen, it may have been my mistake that I should have probably waited for uh for 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 um the war with the Soviets to be over. Okay, maybe maybe I should have actually done that. Cause oh boy, have I taken way more casualties than I actually wanted. Come on, 93%. It is so close. It is so... What is even still left here? I am burning through so much more manpower than I wished. I did not time this right. I... I did not time this right at all, buddies. Well, this whole thing was supposed to be easy. It is, um... It is not. We can we can definitively say, my friends, it, it is not. It is not. This is still going on. I've lost 54,000 to the fence. Come on. Come on. Yes! Oh, my God. Okay. That didn't need to happen. That did not need to happen. I, I lost way more men than reasonably I should have in that fight. And well, I could take all of Finland. No, no. Instead, we're going to, um, we're going to puppet Finland and we're going to puppet the, the Sami here. You know, Finland? No, you don't even get to exist. I'm not even going to puppet you. We're just going to take all of you. Okay. I want you to disappear after that. And now that means finally we can get all of our cores and proclaim Nordic unity. Finland, you may not have much population, but God damn it. Are we now the Nordic socialist states? And with cores on all of that, that means we get all these military factories, get even more civilian fact. We get more everything, baby. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to sort through all this now. This is gonna take a second to actually process. At least now we can start preparing collaboration governments on the UK. Military request? Uh, no, United Kingdom. I'm not giving you any military requests at all. Extensive conscription. We're gonna need every single man in this goddamn place in my army. Volvo's done. And then should I go for the final boost on here? Military construction. And we want Lynx armor. Yeah, we, we, we gotta get it. We gotta acquire Fire modern panzer and keep on going. Oh no, my aging is captured. Oh great, that that's lovely. I hate this. Yeah, there goes the German Reich on the Soviet Union. Hey, the fun is finally happening. Yeah, one of my agents got captured again. Great. Yeah, <laughs> all my agents have been captured. Okay, and we're gonna take all these weapons off the market. I guess th these things are not gonna prove to be actually useful here anymore. We just we got a huge surplus that I can use, and I'm I'm gonna need it at this point. Let's try and rescue the operatives that we do have. Oh boy, I'm back. I barely remember what I was doing. It's been like four. Days. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Germany is uh, throwing themselves against the Russians. Fantastic. Well, here's the thing. We are recruiting 72 divisions of these one with or not one with two with cavalry divisions because we're going to convert those over to some better units. And in the meantime, we're trying to get all of these prepared. So we actually have a sizable army. Luckily, since we are communist, we actually have a decent manpower base to work with. But more importantly, the industry is beginning. In fact, should I go to service bar? No, that hurts my factory output. I don't want that just yet. We may have to go to that pretty quickly, but right now it's not necessary. Ah, there goes Japan after the Philippines. The improved armored car is ready and we're gonna need that in order to attach the things here breakthrough no speed more speed for the cars 
I actually realized I need to start producing a decent amount of that here. And with the 1942 guns being researched rather rapidly, that means we're going to have better equipment than basically everyone else. That's exactly what we want. Okay. Now, with all of those bonuses done, we need to secure a couple things. First off, semi-reconciliation. That division speed is going to be nice, but that stability is going to be even better, and snow and forest movement is vital. We're going to let this proceed forward for like uh, a year or two, maybe until mid like 1942, then we're actually going to strike. Let's see, go ahead and spawn out all the cavalry. We have these all assigned. Perfect, and let's build this force. And, oh my god, oh, I actually don't have the... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't have the manpower. You know what? You know what? Preemptively, I think that we're actually going to have to switch over to service by requirement. Yeah, the United States joins the Allies. We're getting this going. Refuge from war. No, no, no. We don't need any of this. We are going to beeline our way down here to lines of the north because division speed plus 8% and attack plus 8%, baby. Oh, that's... Wait, wasn't that 10%? I swear that was 10% before. Did that get updated? Okay, you know what? It doesn't matter. Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. This would make me join the Soviets. Ah, uh, 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 I don't don't know how I feel about that, buddy. Let's uh let's work on our aircraft first. Yep, that's uh haha, that is some good training then. Wait, agent, no, no, you did not just capture my agent again. Okay, well it doesn't matter. Time to prepare collaboration government again. Hey, no, no, dude, you're not capturing another agent. Damn it. Okay, we got to rescue the others here now again. See, that's the problem with dealing with the Soviets is they have such good stuff against spies that it's just, it's a massive pain. And now to make these units significantly more beefy in our preparation for the fight. Yes, probably should drastically increase the amount of support equipment I'm producing. I'm gonna need a whole bunch more of that. Yeah, the German Reich request resource rights. Uh, how about no? Because Germany, Germany, I think it's time for a little bit of fun then. It's only gonna take 20 days to justify. <laughs> oh, oh, Germany, you have no idea what's coming your way. Yes, and with 6,000 aircraft over Denmark. <laughs> ah, I think it's about time that we go ahead and murder you then. Goodbye, Germany. All right, the short of what we're gonna do is move in nice and quick. We wanna break through all this as quickly as possible. Our tanks move so fast, they can't stop us. Oh, 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 and how's that Air Force looking? Oh my God, we are murdering their planes. Wonderful. There we go. All forces are trapped within keel. Wonderful. And that means we can slowly start murdering all these forces. There we go. The more of the troops that we can wipe out here, the better. Excellent, excellent. And now let's see if they will go and deposit some forces on there. I would love it if they did. Yep, here we go. Just keep on moving in. Wipe each unit out as we go. Wonderful, wonderful. And let's just go for a little encirclement. Let's just keep on moving past them. But don't take keel. Not yet, not yet. We want to keep on moving in here as fast as we can. There we go. Just gradually move. Let them throw themselves at me as much as they possibly can. It does not matter. We are going to be able to wipe them out here. Yeah, they are not pouring a lot of troops into Kiel, so fuck it. We're just going to go ahead and take it. All right. All right. You want to throw your troops at my line? <laughs> no, 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 no. You're not going to do that. We're going to defend. We're going to defend. Oh my God. I'm still running out of oil. How am I running out of oil? Do I need to spend all of my factories on freaking oil? I might. I might actually need to do that. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Keep on pushing. Keep on pushing. Let's go. Wonderful. There's some more units trapped. Uh, what do you mean Asia captured? I'm not even doing anything. Okay. I'm just murdering some Germans in the North. Oh my God. I am murdering their air force. Holy crap. All right, there we go. Just come on. Just keep on pushing them on. Gradual. Yep, there's three more. Just keep on catching them. Oh, and now the Soviets. Now the Soviets are starting to push. Okay, there we go. Even more wiped there. The United Kingdom is in Italy. Okay, that should have them distracted. As soon as they fall, that means that they should be down. Well... The Germans are still somehow recruiting a lot more units. There we go. Another big pocket. Keep on wiping them. Yup, oh, yep, yep. Here come the Soviets. I have not been doing this fast enough, which is ironic considering that my entire thing that I've been doing is speed and I'm also out of trains. Well, fuck it. Time to go. Wait, are you, are you actually launching? You actually launched a naval invasion from the rear on me. Wait a minute. Luckily, I had some tanks in reserve there. <laughs> Oh, the fucking Vichy France invading Denmark. How ironic. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's nothing the Germans could do. There's nothing the Germans could do. Keep going. It's just so aggressive. It's so aggressive. It's so fast. Keep it up. Keep it up. German right capitulates to us. Yes. No, okay. We didn't get the most war points in there, whatever. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. You know, we don't really care. What we care about is creating as many weird puppets as we possibly can. That's exactly what we want to do. And after doing so, look at this. We got a nice, big, beautiful German puppet. Wonderful. <laughs> Swedish Germany, everybody. Swedish, uh, Swedish, Swedish Germany. <laughs> The provisional German government of the German Reich. Wait, haven't I already kind of 
done that? They have our blessing. Yeah, I've already, I already did that. <laughs> what, why, what am I still at war with? Iraq and Japan. Wait, I didn't join the war in the, oh, wait, no, because I justified. Right, because I justified. The war's still technically going. Well, either way, my friends, now that we have the supreme industry of Germany behind us, there's only one thing left to do. Create the fastest tank known to man. Oh, and I guess since we're biding our time against the Soviets, you might as well kind of try to join them. Just for a little bit of a tricksy doodle here. Because the thing that we are going to need in very large quantities is actually this, the final level of mechanized. And the thing that we're going to start producing a whole bunch of with this, reduce the cost. Wait, the German Reich declared war on the Polish Soviet Republic. Why the fuck does the German Reich still exist? Why is this still a thing, you idiots? Well, I guess I'm temporarily in the frickin' common turn. And my friends, I think it's finally time that we start assembling the true speed demons. The fastest and one of the most powerful units ever created inside of this game. First things first, I give you the reindeer. Mech 3 with a base speed of 14.4 that is put in here. The next thing that we need, a modern tank. That we have to wait for jet engines to be complete. And oh, whoa, wait, was that... What, 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 I don't know which... Oh, <laughs> Japan is beaten. Well, that finishes things off over here, which means I am now fully at peace. Wonderful. And that means I can say, hey, screw you, Comintern. The Lion of the North is coming. For far too long, Sweden has sat on the sidelines of global power struggles, which we really haven't here for this playthrough. Because of that, we have been subjected to outrageous dem demands and blockades from great powers. Those days are over. The Lion of the North shall rise, which is going to give me an additional 8% division speed and 8% attack. Adolf Hitler questions Swedish neutrality. <laughs> we will not be coerced. Are they are they seriously planning on declaring war? <laughs> That's a Adolf Hitler. Wait, what? Hold up. Soviet occupation zone of Germany issues ultimatum. Are you serious? Okay, sure, fine, fine. I, I, I don't want them to declare war on me, all right? I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm trying to create the special things. Just let me make my babies, okay? What? The jet engines are complete, which means I can produce modern tanks with a gas turbine that increases my speed by 25% with a base 0.5 max speed. Oh, it may use a lot of fuel, but these things are going to go fast. Chrissy suspension, base 13.2 speed. No, we can go further. More engine. 20. All 20 points put an engine. No armor, baby. Only speed. I call it the Lightning McSwede. ka -chow, baby. Is it expensive? Yes. Is there any reason to build it? Not particularly. But all tank production is now going to be dedicated to it. Adolf Hitler questions Swedish. Why am I getting these events? We're not going to be coerced by him. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Because the line of the North has risen. And listen, we will not be swayed from our neutrality. I don't care what you do. You can't declare war on me. You're a puppet, right? Fuck it, I guess we're getting a preemptive strike then. And with that, we have created a unit whose base speed is 15.8. I didn't even do the math on this to actually see what is the best thing, but not 12, 15.8. And are you ready to see how fast this damn thing is? Oh, I can make one of them. You there, sir. You're going to be a speedy Swede. All right, all the parts are replenished. Now, just how fast are you going to freaking move? Oh my God. <laughs> My God, guys, guys, we've done it. We've done it. February 1945, 30 kilometers an hour. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my God. They just zip through everything. 18, you get bonus movement and speed, bonus movement to snow, line of the world, flexible org, mobile warfare, everything. The amount of bonuses that we're getting. Holy shit. All right, we're not declaring war. No, no, no. I'm not declaring war. All right, all right. I'm going to wait until I have enough to be able to convert these things over, okay? Y you're going to see the Soviets melt. I swear to God. Is this efficient? No, but I want to show just how stupid this is. In fact, I got a surplus of guns. I don't even need this stuff, right? Artillery? Who needs it? Anti-air? <laughs> no, I'm dominating everything on the aircraft side. Oh, no. Oh, wait, I got the preemptive strike. Oh, crap, wait. How long is that good towards? March 1947. Okay, we got time. Soviet Union <laughs> declares on the state of Japan. <laughs> That means that they're going to declare war on the allies, right? No. What is the state of Japan? Whoa. No. They weren't in the allies. What? Steel at high speed. Deploy over 4,000 tanks with a max speed over 12 kilometers. All right. I know that not all of these are switched over. I know. I know. But I'm, I'm getting impatient. I want to see it. I want to see it happen. I want to see it happen. We got our doctrine now maxed out. Blitzkrieg is done. More breakthrough, more organization, more everything. I want to see what happens.
I want to retake my course. I want to take it. Soviets. <laughs> yes. Throw yourselves at me. Do so. I'm not calling in any of my puppets. All right. I'd love to see you come and try and attack me now. Oh, shoot. I forgot to build airfields. Okay. Hold up. That could actually be a little bit of a problem. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's a slaughter. Oh, it's an absolute slaughter. Uh, how many men have they lost at this point here? Oh, wow. 1.2 billion. Crazy. You just decided to declare war on everyone. Whoa. How am I still taking... Ca I'm still taking casualties. Okay. Well, you know what? All adults serve. Every single man, woman, and child is going to end up fighting against the Soviets. Who have already lost 2.7 million. Are you kidding me? It's barely been a year. Well, no time like the present. Let's see what actually happens. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They're so fast. They're so fast, they overran. They overran the enemy immediately. Oh my God, they overran the entire Soviet front line. Oh my God, it's that fast. Oh, it's instant. It is instantaneous. How quick are they even moving in here? 27. Oh my God, they can't catch. It's so fast. How many men? They lost a million men almost instantaneously. Oh my God, it's instant. It's instant. They're not, they can't even be caught. They're just sweeping through everything. Oh my God. Go, go my pretties. Did you, you already wiped out the entirety of their force over here. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. You saw how we swept through. You saw how we swept through. I want to try something. I want to try something. I'm reaching a point where their supply is still quite a bit. So I want to see if this works. If this works, I'm going to laugh my ass off. All right. We pull back round two. Let's see how many of them we can instantly wipe here now. Oh, yeah. It's immediate overruns. Immediate overruns. You just over. Oh my God. No, we swept through. We completely swept through. Was that the rest of their army? That was half a million. Oh my God. They're so fast. Quick switch to aggressive. I probably should have been doing that from the very beginning. There's no troops. We wiped out all of their troops on the front line. Okay, third time's the charm. Oh my God, it's so fast. We're immediately overwhelming everything we touch. <laughs> it's just, it's so fast. They're just, what, are, what is this line? What is this bullshit? Moscow Falls, yes. All right, we're joining the allies. Why the hell not? United Kingdom is invading through Ukraine. So this is just beautiful. And sure, let's call our puppet and everyone into the war. Let's just go ahead and finish this off. Honestly, this is so broken. I'm I'm wiping out millions of units at a time. It just, it doesn't even matter anymore, man. Oh, just pocket after pocket. There's millions. How many have they lost at this point? 10 million. Wow. And I, oh, wow. I've lost almost a million myself. Yeah. <laughs> Not the best on my part, gotta say. And is that it? Is that it? That is it. Oh my God. The greatest speed demons, the likes of which the world has never known wipes out the Soviet Union. And there you have it, my friends. It is settled. The Swedish socialist state takes upon its rightful place in the world, the greatest possible industry that you could imagine. <laughs> All the while producing truly insane units. Yeah, look at this. The Speedy Swede. It says that its base is 15.8. No, the bonuses that these things get is truly insane. I mean, my God, this is just, this is such, and that's crossing a river. So hold on, hold on, hold on. What was the fastest that we managed to get up to? 30.25 kilometers. Everything that they go up against, they immediately just overrun. There's no point. If, if I had the population and the industry to build things up bigger, there would have been no question about it. The only reason I had to retreat several times was because we got too spread out. But my God, it's just, it's just too fast. It's just too stupid fast. Everyone, this has been Stuck Hui with another Hearts of Iron 4 playthrough. I know that I already played Sweden, but my, I had to show it. We thought that we got fast with 22 kilometers an hour. 30? And with the stats on this thing, I didn't even build it all that powerful, right? Because this, this is all that it is. If I had made this thing legitimate, like a 40 width or something like that, it would have been incredible. Also, if I'd focused more on tanks instead of the mechanized, but I, I needed to produce the stuff that was cheaper. In fact, I'm just wondering this right now. Oh, yep. That's, uh, that, that, that is definitely something that would have, uh, would have hurt the enemy a lot if I had done that. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, but I didn't have the manpower for that. Either way, everyone, thank you very much for watching. You can see how absolutely stupid this whole thing was. And if you all are somehow able to make a faster and stronger unit, then by all means, put it in the comments. I'd love to see what you all can create. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye, my friends.